Oh boy, hold on. Let me move my mic a little bit. Jesus. Okay, there we go. All right, how's it going, guys? Connor is here, and welcome to something I've been looking forward to for fucking ever. Pokemon Phoenix Rising. This game is releasing today. Down the link in the description if you want to play it. The first beta or demo, whatever you want to call it. Oh boy, I am really, really fucking ready for this. So let's go ahead and get right into it, shall we? Let's check out the options real quick. Man, I don't know how long it's been. Maybe like a year, year and a half, two years, something like that. Since I heard about this game, been waiting for like a demo or something to drop. Is instant faster than fast? Sure, let's try it. Battle C, we'll turn that off. Actually, we'll turn it on for now, just to see. But I like my battles to go a bit faster, so I usually like it off. Uh, battle style. I guess we'll keep that. What the fuck? Temp units. Celsius, Fahrenheit. I guess Fahrenheit, since that's what I know. Okay. Confirm, sure. Wait, there's... Audio. Okay. I'll just leave all that the same. Okay. So there we go. Uh, update, credits. Anyways, let's go ahead and play this, shall we? Pokemon Phoenix Rising. Oh, we can have multiple save files. And there's a Nuzlocke mode. So what, something I did want to... Um, mention is we're going to do two playthroughs of this game. The first one is just going to be a regular just playthrough, you know, just take in the game, see what it has for us. And then the second one I want to do, I want to do a Nuzlocke mode just to see, you know, how things work. But I want to do a regular walkthrough, just a regular playthrough first, just because, you know, I can, I don't have to be like always, I just, I can just enjoy the game without having to worry about my Pokemon dying. So game one, new game. Let's do this. Fan-made game, game is free, you know, normal fan game type stuff. What the fuck is this? Oh, hi. Good morning. I hope my audio and everything is good and all that, I should say, because since, like, the last video I uploaded, I have moved stuff around in my room. Like, I'm sitting in a completely different place than I usually sit when I record videos, but anyways, whatever. I have some last-minute documents I need to co I need you to complete for Trin Trinidad University. Trinidad. Trinidad. Okay. I'm still used as a mouthpiece for the school since I completed my studies there all those years ago. First, they need you to create an avatar. Oh, yay. I love creating avatars. Just create one that best expresses your personal style. Okay, so basically boy or girl. I like these sprites. I don't like his hair too much. His hair looks a little weird, but yeah, besides that, everything's looking good. Okay. Are you sure you would like to play as this character? Yes. The man. Uh, great. That should be fine. Next, I need you to input your name here. Alto. Okay, that's, that's like the default name for the character, Alto. We're not going to be Alto, though. We're going to go ahead and be Mark. Can I use the keyboard? Nope. Damn it. Okay. Whatever. Confirm. Thank you for indulging me, Mark. I bet you're looking forward to your adventure. Oh, damn straight I am. Be sure to stop on my lab before you skip town. I have something you'll want to see. Ciao. Ciao. Fuck says ciao in 2018. Oh god, presenting a fan-made project. Oh, it's one of those few games I've just like really been wanting to play. Phoenix Rising. Like there's this, Pokemon Gaia, Pokemon Life. Like the, off the top of my head, those are probably like the three ma main games I've been just like really pumped to play. Mmm. So the creator said that I believe they said like there's seven to ten hours of you know gameplay obviously depending on player to player uh, but I wonder how much of the game that actually is like is that 10% of the game half of the game 90% of the game probably not that much I don't know we'll just have to see when we uh, see when we get to the end I like this little intro though. Hello. Hawthorne Woods. Have I ever told you why I live in Hawthorne Woods, Mark? It's because I can't afford a house. 
Most assure, or most assume, I think that I longed for a natural setting to be one with nature. Certainly the Pokemon here are kind, and the flora is magnificent, yes? I even admit my cooking has greatly improved since I began my... Unless this music is very fucking loud. I even admit my cooking has greatly improved since I began my... Hermitage. But I would not live away from society for a pretty view. That would be silly. No, I live here because I find it. Pure. Out here, I am able to reflect on my life, to think more clearly than I have ever, than I ever have. When I was your age, finding a thinking place was very simple. A quiet place. It's not so true anymore, yes? Now the world is very, very complicated. This is good to keep in mind. Find a quiet spot to call your own. Think there. Allow yourself the time to think on your life, your circumstances. For you see, Mark, it is when one thinks that one realizes. Not all is right with the world. This man's getting philosophical on me. Looks like a wizard. Oh, what a windbag I am. Come, let us have our tea before you depart. Okay. New quest, a lesson in destiny. That is fucking cool. Press the X key to open your menu. Tip, you can access your journal containing your current quests there. Nice. Alright, oh my god, this looks so good! God, dude. Like, if this is why they, they, they take, like, years to release, like, a demo to make it look this good, I'm okay with it, dude, because this looks fucking nice. Look, it even shows the fucking the degrees right there. 60, 30 degrees Fahrenheit. Sunny. Damn. Level 1. Hawthorne Woods, where new songs begin. This is so good, dude. Can I grab these? I can't run yet. Actually, can I run? I don't know what the run button is. I'm pretty sure I can't run. There's like a folder or something in like the game, the game folder that said like controls. I should probably look at that just to see all the controls I can do. Okay, so he went that way. I want to go this way real quick just to see what's going on. Press the Z key to use your running shoes. Okay, cool. Now I can run. Toggle them permanently off on using the shift key. There we go, there's my running. Trainer tips. You can arrange items in your bag by holding down the confirm button while using the directional keys. Okay. What's up? Oh shit. Hey there. Did you know you can hop over these ledges to access lower areas? Only problem is, I can't figure out how to climb back up again. And I probably shouldn't do that then. Unless that leads to like, the area over here. Oh hi! Shit. Come, come, I have a lovely tin of biscuits for you to try. Not yet, Mr. Wizard Guy. I want to look around. Your biscuits can wait. You can find some pretty sweet stuff lying on the ground sometimes. Potions, Pokeballs, even TMs. Oh, uh, do you not know what a TM is? You've got some learning to do. Fucking noob. Alright. I do want to see if I can find some hidden items, though. Lord knows I love me some hidden items. Another trainer tip thing here. Trainer tips. Berries come in different varieties. Each type has different effects. Berries can be given to Pokemon to hold. They will be used in battle if they need them. When you bury a Pokemon in or outside battle, they use immediately. Got it. Oh, I was trying to look at that rock. Go to the ledge, drop down. Just gonna want to find out what's over there. Oh, God. Alright. Jump. Can't go over there. Jump. Right, talk to this tree. No. Tree talking is not an option. Okay. 
nothing over here for us to explore anymore. Before we go talking to that guy, let's go over here. Okay, we can't go over there. Mark, I thought we were having tea. Get, get your ass inside. Shit. Okay, okay. Actually, nothing in that rock. Nothing in that rock. Okay. Coming. A lesson in destiny. Objective complete. Meet the soothsay- okay. Mark, I'm so glad you decided to come over one last time. Well, you kind of forced me to, so... <laughs> it warms an old man's heart, truly. And on such a momentous day... Off to Trinidad University. And you're receiving your first Pokémon, yes? I'll turn on the kettle, Mark. Are you nervous about the events to come? You're in capable hands. I'm sure that the good doctor will give you the best of the lot. You know, Professor Lotus met with me before her own journey to, to your school. Trinidad University surely snaps up the best talents of the Hawthorne region. The both of you, the prides of our little nocturne town. Although it's a different situation, what with your father and all. Is he dead? Missing? Where is it? I'm sure you're excited to see him after so many years apart. Oh, okay, never mind. He's not dead or missing. Got it. And your mother is doing well. Sad to see you go. How perplexing. What is he looking for? She's always been hardy, your mother. Never phased by a thing. But to have her only child about to depart from her home must be tiring. Why, when my own children took their leave from me, I... I have some bad news, Mark. I think perhaps there is a possibility. I am out of tea! <laughs> oh no, whatever shall we do? God damn it. Oh, sad face. Oh, I'm embarrassed. I'm going dotty. Didn't even check my own stores. You know what? I imagine your mother has tea. Your father was a tea fanatic. Although I feel terrible asking this, could you run home and check with her? Without fail, a good cup of tea will calm your anxieties before this journey. You'll run over there, yes? You will? Wonderful! I'll be here, waiting for your return. God damn it. Collect tea bags for mom. A lesson in destiny. A lesson in destiny. New objective. Visit the lab. Got it. We gotta go to the lab, and we gotta get tea from Mother. There's some tea right here. God damn it. And as man's just trying to mooch off my tea. Very cozy. I like talking to things. Why is this floorboard missing? This is very dangerous. Alright. Nothing to check in here. Let's go get some tea. Ah, oh, some Nidoran. Oh god. He's like, you fucking cock blocker. Damn it, I just cocked blocked that Nidoran. Sorry, Nidoran. Nocturne Town. Is this Mother's house? No, it's Professor Lotus. Did you go here first? Hola, como estas? Hey there, Mark. Are you looking for Professor Lotus? I haven't seen her this morning. Have you checked your lab? If not there, she was probably called away. Why don't you ask Tim where she is? The soothsayer might know too. I was just at the soothsayer's house. Personal laptop. Better not snoop too much. God damn it. 101 kind, different kinds of mulch. The hell? Okay. Okay. And check the trash can. Hey, stop! Nothing of value, however. God damn it. <laughs> Thought there was actually gonna be something good there. Okay, can I can 
Can I pick these? Are these things I can pick? Nope, they are not. Nope. Hello, Mark. It's so nice to see you. Remember when you were yay high? Most everyone in Nocturne Town is getting on in age. Not much is different from here when I was a young girl. Okay. Cool to know. God damn it. Nothing. What the hell? Why did my screen get darker? Is it getting nighttime? 16. Okay, 1602. I think it's getting dark. Who the hell are you? I used to live in Saltempo City, which is a really exciting place to live. After a while, though, I couldn't take the urban life anymore, so I came here. There are a lot of old people here. It's quiet. Really quiet. I mean, that's what you get when you live with an, in a town full of old people. You get quiet. Old people aren't that rowdy. Welcome to Nocturne Town. Uh, who lives here? Mother? I'm looking for Mother's house. This is probably not Mother's house. Or, or is it? Nope. Well, my husband often takes walks around town. I suppose it could be relaxing, but nothing has ever changed here. Okay. I'm guessing that's the old man that's right here. Hi, old man. So lucky to have a professor. Pokemon professor like Professor Lotus. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, I got it. Mother's house is down there. I guess we'll go to Mother's house first. And we'll go check out Professor Lotus at her lab. Mother, I need some tea. Actually, let's check my room first. Hey, there's a potion on my bed. Sweet. How the hell did I leave that there? An old computer dad left behind. WSAD keys are very worn. KK. Oh, Mark, you're home early. Have you finished already? Normally, the soothsayer can talk to me into the ground, or can talk me into the ground, sweet old man. He doesn't have tea. He didn't check before he invited you over for tea? Well, regardless, uh, he needs tea bags, but I'm not sure we have any ourselves. God damn it, why does nobody ever have tea? He really needs to be more responsible, living all alone out there. We both know it's not the first time that something has happened like this. Perhaps he could grow his own tea, surrounded by all that forest. Not that I don't sympathize with his choice. It's beautiful in those woods. Did you find some? Did you find some? Well, look at that. Tea bags. Not much, but it should be fine for your purposes. Nice. You know, I had this crazy thought that your father took all this tea with him. Maybe not so crazy. If you remember, he did cart away that broken radio. Do you think he still has it? Neither of us have ever seen his place there. Where the hell is Dad living? University? I'm sure you'll see the evidence of his tea addiction at the bachelor pad. He's at a... okay. And you'll have to tell me if he dusts. He was always terrible about that. Here, let me put these in your bag for you. You'll lose them otherwise. God damn it. I could do it myself. Looks like a tent. There you are. In the key items pouch. Open the menu and you'll see it there. Thanks for telling me where it's at. <laughs> now don't spend too much time on this tea business. You cannot be late. Professor Lotus is always so busy, and she's doing you and your father a favor. If you dally, you'll end up with one of those one of my hand-me-down Pokemon as your first. In fact, if you were being considerate, you would stop by the lab and check in. Okay. Got it. Okay, I guess we'll go to the lab now. Bring the tea back to the soothsayer. Okay. Alright. Also, I'm going to save often. Just because, you know. Demo. Don't, I have eight grand? Where the hell did I get eight grand from? Jeez, I'm rich. Holy shit. I can hear owls. These guys are blocking Route 1. Alright. God, dude. But yeah. Got to be sure to save very often. Because, you know, demo. Demos can tend to crash. Wouldn't want to start over. Mm, okay, well, I guess we'll go check in with the professor, see what's going on. Ah, oh, some cherry berries. 
the whooper back there. Hi, whooper. How you doing, little buddy? Taking all these berries. Oh, there. Uh, you see this map here? It's used for something called fast travel. Oh, nice. Not sure how it works, but it's if you interact with it and choose where you want to go, you'll be taken there in an instant. You can only fast travel to areas you've been already, however. Me? I prefer to walk. Uh, okay, bye. Awesome, there's fast travel. Nice to know. Nice to know. But getting a little bit laggy. It's probably just my computer, though. It's fucking ass. And the professor is sleeping. If that even is the professor. Mark, uh, hey. You're here early. Professor Lotus said you would be here way later than this. Okay, yeah, this is not the professor. Uh, you remember me, right? I'm Tim. We met, like, uh, twice, I think? No, it's no big deal. Uh, welcome. You're here for your first Pokemon, right? That's so exciting. We've been getting them ready forever. Should we wait for Professor Lotus? She said she wanted to be here for this, but I haven't heard from her since. Some kind of errand took her out to Tranquillo Town earlier today. Field work has never been my scene, so Lotus left me here to babysit. It's so funny that Lotus does this stuff all the time. She's a hero, sort of. But we actually know her in, but we actually know her in person, you know? We get to see the real her. Yeah. Um, I'm stalling, really. I just don't know when she's getting back. You're not that early. Maybe she's the late one. As if. I bet you're dying to see them, huh? The Pokemon, they're super cute. I actually don't know what the starter Pokemon are for this game. Well, maybe I can let you look at them. Before she gets here, a sneak peek. That'd be okay, right? I, I'm not... I'm not a surfing protocol? Okay, I don't know what that word means. Yeah, it'll be fine. Come on, let's go take a look. Okay, okay. Okay, so we got Petalil, Growlithe, okay. Petalil, the bull of Pokemon. Cute, right? Really pretty, a grass type. There's a female-only species, or they're a female-only species, and they love soil that's rich in nutrients. If you eat their leaves, you'll get a little energy boost. Of course, I've never tried one. Okay, moving on. And we got the fire type Growlithe. The water type is a Staryu? This is Growlithe, the puppy Pokemon. Don't you love that hair? That shaggy mane? They're a fire type. Growlithe are domesticated Pokemon, and they really get attached to you. Apparently, they can smell your emotions. Weird, right? Super noses. Okay, last one. You're excited? Star you. Interesting choices. So they all they're all only have stage one types. Or stage one evolutions. Uh, this is Star You, my personal favorite. Aren't they cool? I love water types. They're the star shaped Pokemon because they're superstars. Don't ever say that again. Plus, they're able to psychically regrow their limbs, which is like insane. Interesting. Now, I shouldn't have done this. Oh, oh, I shouldn't have done this. Now you really want one, huh? Yes. Look, uh, why don't you just go ahead and pick one? The professor was going to give you one eventually, right? I can tell her later. And I know how exciting he is to own your first Pokemon. I'll be waiting at the front lab, so let me know when you've decided. Good luck. No pressure. Oh, boy. Okay. So at first glance, I kind of want to take the Staryu. Soft reset with F12. Sometimes you might want to restart the game and reload your save file. Remember to save first or you'll lose progress. Got it. A new tutorial has been registered. Okay then. Okay. Starter Pokemon. Uh, I honestly don't know 
the evolution of Petalil. I have no fucking clue. I think it evolves into a pure grass. I, I don't know. Because I was thinking the only Pokemon here that has a dual like typing when it evolves is Staryu. Starmie's Psychic Water. Which would be pretty cool to have. Ugh. It's For me, it's either Staryu or Growlithe. But I've used Growlithe in so many other games. Like I don't think I've ever used a Staryu in a playthrough. Growlithe, on the other hand, I think I've used a couple times. So, I think I'm going to want to go star you. What does this say? Okay, whatever it's supposed to say goes way over your head. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going star you. Because why not? Sir? I'm going to look like I'm working hard, just in case Lotus arrives. Can I pick my Pokemon? Am I not supposed to pick my Pokemon yet? I want you. Oh, there we go. Would you like the water type star you? Damn straight I would. Come with me, little buddy. You are mine. You're going to be the best of friends. That is, that is what it is. Like, hey. Would you like to give a nickname to star you? I don't know what to nickname this thing. Ah. Uh. Uh, probably a stupid name, but, uh, you know, whatever. Just gonna name it Starboy. You know, that weekend song. It's a motherfucking Starboy. There we go. That's not how you spell it. <laughs> I missed the B. God damn it. My typing skills are not on point. There we go. Got to star you. Let's go. Toggle Pokemon following by pressing control. If you ever wish to put your Pokemon back in its Pokeball or take it out again, press just press control. Oh, this is so beautiful. Look, I'm getting a little teary-eyed. You're gonna love Trinita Trinidad University. Trinita? Trinita? Yeah, Trinita University. My alma mater. What? Especially now that you have a lifelong friend to help you through it. And now we wait for Professor Lotus to get back from her trip. She still has some things to give you. Advice or gadgets or some shit like that. Uh, I don't think I can let you go exactly without having seen her first. Okay. Life like a Lotus. Oh, this is a good lesson. So Tranquilo Town is east of here. You want to take Route 1 to get there. It connects Tranquillo to Nocturne. Route 1 is short, and Tranquillo Town is really tiny, smaller than Nocturne. So Professor Lotus won't be long. We just have to wait. New tutorial has been registered. Got it. Okay, so I'm going to put you back in your ball. And I also want to look at him. Where is he at? Where is my little buddy? Summary. Okay, level 5. Water type, obviously. Uh, oh, I had to go down. Okay. Naughty nature. Oh, it actually tells you what the nature does. Interesting. I don't know nature's by, like, by heart. I do not know nature's by heart. So, naughty nature ups attack, lowers special defense. I don't know if that's good or not. Okay, it's high HP, low attack. So, maybe having a naughty nature isn't really good since its attack is shit, anyways. Uh, natural cure. All status problems heal when it switches out. That's cool. It knows tackle, water gun. Water gun, tackle, harden. Okay. Okay, okay. Alright. Well, let's go ahead and save again. And I think... Oh, uh, do we go back to the... Oh, hi. Hey, are you leaving? I thought you're going to help me explain the situation to Lotus, right? Thank you for waiting with me. I really appreciate the support. Then what the hell do I do? Professor Lotus is so talented, but she's a little scary, right? Maybe you don't think that, since you've known her for so long. Sorry. 
You know that I really respect her, right? I wasn't, like, trash-talking her. I swear. She's an incredible scientist, researcher, but her, uh, standards are, uh, crazy, you know? This is really awkward. Uh, you can go. No hard feelings. I'll explain to Lotus. See you later, though, and, uh, th this was really great, yeah? Y yeah, have fun. Okay. Sweet. Okay, bye. Oh, man. Well, there's Pokemon back there. I see a Vulpix. I see a Wooper. Whose starter Pokemon are those? Okay. So, I guess we go back to the Soothsayer, because we got our tea. And we gotta go drink tea with him, I guess. Where the hell do I go? Oh, this way. Yeah, I gotta go drink tea with the Soothsayer. Uh, this way, this way, this way, this way. There we go. Keep going. Alright, and actually, before we go in here and drink some tea, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this first episode here. So, uh, yeah. There we go, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. It's been Connor. So I'll see you guys next time with some more Pokemon Phoenix Rising. I'm ready to get ready to get into this. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys next time again. Download link is in the description below if you want to download and play it yourself. And uh, yeah, I guess peace out.